Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a new small or medium group size base design for you. Featuring a mini china wall with tons of peaks for the perfect online raid defense. A spacious core with three early drop down roof bunkers. And a huge open core including three unsplashable roof bunkers for peaceful nights. But also a wide gap shooting floor with tons of respawns and angles. The starter footprint is cheap and simple and expands with a multi TC on three sides. The base is already pretty secure early on in a wipe and cheaply expendable step by step. This base is not only super expensive to offline raid since there are 6 unsplashable bunkers in total, but also very strong in online raids since it's easy to seal and got perfect peaks all around. Before we start with the tour, I wanted to say thank you for your support lately. I would be happy if you could like this video and subscribe to my channel. Also let me know in the comments what you think about the space. And if you don't want to miss upcoming giveaways or videos, join my discord. As already mentioned in my latest videos, I'm currently testing my designs and actual wipes. And I'll upload these wipes and movie style videos on my second channel. If you're interested in these kind of videos, please consider subscribing. Link is in the description. The base has three external TCs in total. I built them simple this time, but you could also build them bunkered. There's roughly 5k metal on each TC if the base is fully upgraded. The airlock has a little outside window peak to check if you get door camped. The gatehouse got space for two beds and boxes for gear sets above. We have compound retake peaks on both sides. In a raid you could just spawn and defend from here, or just get out fast back into a fight. You could expand it if you want, to fit more beds in here. Stepping inside the compound, we have two turrets covering the entrance. There are simple outside roof peaks on the left and right to get rid of people around your base. You can also hold the breach from here, easily, when the walls are gone. We have a simple furnace funnel wall here to make the compound harder to breach in online raids. Raiders can obviously destroy the furnace, but it might buy you some time to defend. Here we have more of these peaks, pretty simple, but nice to have. The whole compound is separated by chain links. Entering the mini china wall, we are facing a shotgun trap to prevent people from going deep. The entrance is also covered by turrets on the left and right. We have these outside peaks again on both sides to defend your compound. But they also function as breach peaks in case people laddering up. Here is a simple window peak, nothing special but important so you don't have any blind spots in your compound. And also useful to hold the breach. We enter the main core from second layer. It's pretty open and spacious as you can see. Enough space for all the essentials. Down here we have the starter core. There is space for two loot rooms, all your bags, furnaces and a workbench. For basically everything you need at the start. We have this little early shooting floor section on each side. It's especially useful in early wipe before you build the compound. The base has three unsplashable early drop down bunkers in total. You open them by placing a roof right here. There is space for two large boxes. These bunkers increasing the raid cost a lot, especially early on in a wipe. Jumping up here we enter the open core. There are 6 of these simple loot rooms, so you have 24 large boxes. You can use this ladder hatch to retake your main core. We have a total of 3 unsplashable bunkers in the open core. You can fit 4 large boxes, so the open core has space for 36 boxes, which should be more than enough.
The fast jump ups give you some simple retake peaks on each side, but not only for your open core, you can also use them to retake your shooting floor. Up here we have a nice little bedroom area, and another ladder hatch to retake your open core. Stick the nade and send it down. The shooting floor has tons of angles for online raids, down into the compound, but also far. Here we have roof peaks on each side to get rid of people on top and defend top down raids. This ramp gives you even more peaks and allows you to aim at people below as well. This roof peak can save you in a raid defense since you are covered from potential raid bases. In case there are raiders in the open core already, you can open this garage door from here and take out the embrasure. This gives you an additional retake peak. It will be unexpected as well. Jumping up to the roof, we have another little roof peak. It might be not as important, but it's nice to have. I kept the roof simple, so we don't take any turret cover away by building stuff on top. There are any kind of different peaks all around the roof. And a little mountain roof to get better angles. And now let's get into the tutorial. Now we start with the starter base. For this you build 4 triangles and on the right side of each you build a square. On one side you build the entrance. Now we build the jump ups. Next we build the freehand part. Don't worry, it's really easy to build. Go to the main TC and check how high your upkeep is. Then remember the number.
Build a triangle on the right side and add a square. Now you build two low walls. Go as far into the corner as possible and aim roughly at the same spot as I am. Don't move your mouse and destroy the two low walls. Now take a small step back, then build a square foundation. Remember the step back, it's really important. Build three triangles to the right. Destroy the trick except for the last triangle. Build a square, a triangle and another square. You can upgrade the last square. Add a frame on the left and right side. Now go to the main TC and check if the upkeep is higher than before. If it is higher, the fan part is connected and everything is correct. If the upkeep stays the same, you made a mistake and need to try again. Let's repeat this process on the other two sides as well. Next we build the multi TC. Build four squares, ending with a triangle. Go back with triangles. Again, build four squares, ending with a triangle. Go back with triangles and upgrade the last triangle. Now let's finish the multi-TC footprint and build the external TCs. Now we build the early bunkers.
Next, we build the second floor. Now we build the open core. Here you need to build half walls with a window on top.
Next, we build a mini china wall. Now we build the frames for the shooting floor. Next we put the shooting floor. Here we build the roof peaks.
Now we build the roof. Next, we build the compound. Now we build the furnace funnel wall. For this, place the furnace as far back as possible.
Now I'll show you turret and windmill placement. 